Alright, so the next section of MSK we're going to be talking about is joints. So, there, a joint, first of all, is where two bones fit together. And we have multiple types of joints. First is a fibrinous joint, which is non-movable. Then we have cartilaginous joints, which are semi-movable. And then synovial joints, which are freely movable. Remember, that's like a knee. So here's fibrinous joint. Example is in the skull, you see this. This is the joint lines between each bone. But remember, your skull, the skull doesn't move. So that's a fibrinous joint. Cart cartilaginous joint has cartilage between the joints. So we have a bone here. We have a bone here. And in between, there's some cartilage. That's a cartilaginous joint. This is in your in your spine. This is a medium strength, and your um, your range of motion is medium. And finally, we have a synovial joint. This is the highest range of motion. Think of your knee, your shoulders, your elbows. But it's also the weakest, so that's where often you get shoulder, you get dislocations, you get injuries of the knee, you get injuries of the shoulder, because this is the weakest type of joint. Again, it's kind of an inverse effect. The weaker your joint, the higher the range of motion, and uh, the, the opposite is also true. So we're going to focus on synovial, synovial joints because those that's of most relevant to us. So synovial joints, um, and the structure of the synovial joint is your bones are lined by articular coll collagen. That's this stuff, this blue stuff right here, and here. And um, the purpose of this is to provide smooth articulation between the joints. You don't want bone and bone grating on each other, and that's going to be painful. That's going to be unpleasant. So you have this smooth, like kind of lubricated, um, nice, nice soft cartilage. Um, and there's a common misconception that, that the cartilage is is like a shock absorber, which is what I thought before too. But it it doesn't really work in that way, and it more is just um, provides for smooth articulation between the two bones. The next thing is the synovial fluid. It's all this fluid in the middle. And again, that's again just for um, for buffering, it's for lubrication of the joint to reduce friction. So the synovial fluid and the cartilage both help to reduce friction between bones. And where you get the synovial fluid is from the synovial membrane, which you see on this side here, on both sides of the joint. So the two the two key players here are the cartilage and the fluid, and then you have the membrane which produces the fluid. Finally, you have the, arti or the articular capsule, which is this gray on the very outmost side. And this, uh, this surrounds the joint and seals the space and provides structural stability. All right, so that's it for our introduction to joints.